So then he did that to her, and then she was surprised somehow. She went somewhere literally called the Snowy Corridor. Didn't take anything warmer than her dress. Didn't even wear leggings under it or a cardigan over it or anything and... <laughs> hey, are you ignoring me over there? <laughs> so yes, is the answer to that one. I asked if you were ignoring me. I mean, I'm just rambling, chatting to pass the time. Nothing important. It's just nice to have someone else to gather with. For some reason, I feel really awkward talking to myself when I gather alone. Even though I know no one's out here to judge me. So... I guess I'm saying that I always really appreciate it when you come with me. And... It's not a problem or anything, but... I, I don't know. You just seem a bit... Distracted? Is everything okay? I mean... I don't know. We've been best friends for years, so I've learned to read you, and... Something feels off, that's all. You seem distracted, like you're off in your own world. You were even gathering mushrooms earlier and dropping them to the side of your basket instead of in it for a while. Look, I'm not going to pry. If it's something you can't talk about with me or don't want to talk about with me, that's perfectly fine. If you want to talk about it later, that's perfectly fine. And if you want to pretend this conversation never even happened, that's also perfectly fine. Yeah, of course. Whenever you're ready. Whether that's five minutes from now, or five days from now, or whatever. Though, if it's the middle of the night, be prepared for me to be very sleepy and <laughs> only half coherent. <laughs> Um, I guess so. Hyaniju fruits are really effective and even simple to make. And they're tempting. Too tempting. It doesn't seem to be a problem from most people, but I'm worried about drinking one, uh, just this once, and then just one more time. Because it's convenient and not being able to ever wake I feel awake without them. Maybe that's silly. I don't have an issue making them for other people, and I've never heard any complaints. I just know that since I can make them whenever I want, mm, that just seems like a really easy slope to fall down. So I personally avoid them on principle. Probably for the best. <laughs> Let's try to avoid the middle of the night. Unless we've been chatting all night anyways. Who knows the number of times that we've hung out from dusk until sunrise. Especially when I've been synthesizing through the night. For one reason or another. Mm-hmm. And it's always a lot of fun, even if I feel bad about keeping you up. <laughs> 
I know. You always say it's fine, and I believe you, but I don't know. It feels bad. I still feel bad. Or maybe I could just make it more sour? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about the Hyaniju fruits. They're not even potions. They're just uh, like a fruit juice and a couple other simple ingredients which have been enhanced and refined through alchemy, right? Well... I've always made them sweet since, uh, you know, sweet things taste good. But it's actually not any harder to make an equally effective one that's really sour instead. Because if it doesn't taste as good, maybe I won't drink them as often. So, having one Every now and then wouldn't be as much of an issue. Exactly. If you ask another alchemist, say the twins, they'd probably say something about how people tend to think that medicine which is bitter is more powerful. Even if it actually isn't. It might also work with sour medicines. <laughs> One of them would probably suggest selling the sour ones for a slight markup. <laughs> Until her older sister would say that it's not fair to charge more for a less pleasant version of the same item. <laughs> <sighs> Either way, I'll take a look at it the next time I make them. In the meantime, I've got most of the usable bark off this tree. How's your gathering growing? Yeah? Then we should probably get back. It's going to be dark pretty soon. The nocturnal creatures in this forest aren't overly threatening, but I'd rather not deal with them if we don't have to. It really has. It took us longer than I'd expected to get out here, and then we've been gathering for a while. So I guess it makes sense. Here we go. Grab hold. And here we are. Alright, I'll take that basket for you. <sighs> I say this every time, but I wish this teleportation worked to anywhere. And not just the atelier. As convenient as this is. In theory, sure, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. That's a lot of physics to break. Hmm. Anyway, can I get you anything while I'm putting these ingredients away? You sure? Oh, you got some high-quality ingredients here. Rainbow berries. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very well. You've developed a good idea just from helping me. Okay. Hmm. Hmm? What is it? Yeah, if you're ready to talk about it, then sure. Go ahead. 
is this sort of a serious drop everything and sit and talk conversation or something less proper? All right, if you're sure. What's on your mind? Ooh, a crush? That's exciting, right? We haven't ever talked much about that sort of thing before. But you don't seem very excited about it. What's wrong? I, I guess... Before we get too deep into this conversation... This... This person isn't... Me, is it? It's okay. I didn't think it was. Don't get me wrong. You're my best friend. And I like you a lot. But that's how I've always thought of us. And I hadn't gotten the impression that you thought differently. But especially since you seem so shy and hesitant about this conversation, I wanted to ask before it got any more awkward. But sorry for interrupting. Go ahead. You have a crush on this unspecified person, but... Huh? Why is that? Hmm. That makes sense. Love and even infatuation is easy to become preoccupied with when you're feeling it. I guess I did say that you were acting a bit distracted or absent-minded. But, oh, what exactly is the issue? Isn't a crush supposed to make you feel all light and excited about the other person? You seem almost weighed down by it instead. No offense. Then? Oh. D did the other person... I'm sorry. But if you don't tell them how you feel or ask them out or anything like that, then how would you know if the other person isn't interested? You might be surprised how many people will hide a deep crush on someone in an attempt to not risk things getting awkward. I mean, you are hiding a crush, aren't you? <sighs> it's one thing to not be someone's type, or for someone to just not be looking for a relationship, but... You know... It's hard to hear your best friend talk down on themselves like that. Here. <sighs> it's often said that dating someone is to be more than friends with them. But I've never liked that framing. It implies that friendships are less than romance and... Well, I value our friendship too much to agree with that. It's like saying that waffles are less valuable because they're typically only a breakfast food. I like summer and the winter not one less than the other. But in fundamentally different ways. 
It's fun to make sand castles and splash in the water, and have snowball fights and drink hot cocoa. Romantic, platonic, familial, all just different types of love, none better or more valuable than the other. Mm hmm. You're a great person. You're kind, you're helpful, you're supportive, you're smart, you're funny, and so many other things. So I don't want to hear you say you're not good enough for me or your crush or anyone. I mean, I can't force you, obviously. But I still think it might be a good idea to actually talk to your crush about this. At least, you know, if you actually want something to come out of it. You won't know what they say until you ask. And even if they say no, might that be better than having that uncertainty clouding your head? I see. Well, if you don't want to talk to them about it, is there anything I can do, at least, to help you feel better about the situation or distract you from it or anything like that? Hmm. Well, I can obviously do all of the regular supportive best friend sort of things, but if you would like, I might be able to put my alchemy skills to use here. In terms of having your crush feel the same way that you do, or having you feel the same way that they do, at least in a right now sort of way, there are ways to accomplish that. The first would be a love potion or something of the sort. But mm, that's not something I'm comfortable with. I know that one of my alchemist friends has made a love potion for a client, but uh, I don't know. There are some real concerns about consent, and even if you could solve those, there's something a bit off-putting to me about using a love potion. Probably another reason recipes for them are so hard to come by. The other option would be an anti-love potion. Rather than making the other person fall in love with you, it should be possible to make you no longer in love with them. It'd be a relatively delicate process. Making sure it didn't affect any other relationships is a side effect. Or that it doesn't go too far and make you hate the person instead. But... I did do some theorizing about an antidote after I heard some rumors about that love potion my friend made. I think I can repurpose a lot of that theory to make something here. If that's something you'd be interested in. Mm-hmm. There aren't many things that alchemy can't do. At least in theory. <laughs> no matter the miracle, a skilled enough alchemist with the right recipe and ingredients can probably pull it off. But... Does this anti-love potion idea interest you? As I said, there are some risks that it might go too far. And it's not really reversible, so... Are you sure? <sighs> Alright. 
I don't remember all of the details, so let me go check my notes, okay? Potion notes. Potion notes. Ah! This is the one. Mm -hmm. Alright. Love potion antidote. Love potion antidote. Oh. Here we go. Aromatic bark, rose cane, a charm fresser shielding stone, a tempered temperament. Hmm. I think swapping the shielding stone for a duskborn purifier should do the trick. Yeah, I should be able to, though it will take a little bit of time. We gathered the aromatic bark while we were out today, and I have plenty of rose cane. But I don't have the other two on hand, so I'll have to make both of those. And for those, I think I'll need a fervent feather and an emerald soul gem. If this is something you're interested, I can get working on this for you. But it'll take... Mm. Can you come back tomorrow night? Uh, maybe a bit later than it is now? I think I'll have it done by then. <laughs> well, it's for you, silly. That and the fact that I already had this recipe. I remember this one taking me quite some time to work out. You're welcome. But while you're waiting, I want you to keep thinking about whether this is something you want. Sleep on it. Think about it tomorrow. I want to make sure that you're certain about this. And I really won't mind if you change your mind. Even after I made it. Okay? Ah, hey! Good evening! Come in. Pretty good, I think. I finished the potion just a little bit ago. Uh, how about you? I see. Not too bad then. Mm, that's good. Shall we get down to business then? You seem a little bit restless. Have you thought about the situation and made your decision? And just to be sure, that isn't based at all on the fact that the potion I already made, right? I told you, I don't mind having it made it, even if you aren't going to drink it. I see. Well... And then if you're so sure... Take this and close your eyes. Focus on your crush. Which might not be too difficult for you. And block out thoughts of anyone else. Just your crush. When you're ready, take a deep breath. And then drink the potion. Okay?
How was it? I'm sorry. I was hoping it wouldn't be too bitter for you, but I, I guess it didn't work out that way. But I don't think that you'll need to drink it again. It'll probably take a little bit of time to take full effect. A few hours? Maybe overnight. But for now... How do you feel about the person? I see. So the potion is starting to work, which is good. Even when I know I've double-checked the recipe in theory and should be sure that the potion or whatever item it is will work. I'm always a little nervous. Let me know if anything goes wrong or you notice any side effects, okay? There shouldn't be, but I'd hate for anything to happen to you, you know? Thanks. Nothing against you at all, but <laughs> all this trouble just because romance is so romanticized, as it were. You're welcome. Of course. Hiya, Saki here. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that I was able to bring you some happiness, peace, and comfort. <laughs> If you want to support me on Twitch, feel free to. I stream about every day. You can also subscribe to the YouTube channel. That would make me really happy. You can also find me on Patreon, Discord, or Twitter. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything you guys do for me. I really, really appreciate it. Now, take care. Mwah.